Hey, what's up guys? It's Uncle Zunky. So, today I actually did something pretty, pretty crazy. And also something pretty crazy just happened, which I'll get into. I kind of have a bit to talk about in this vlog, which is a bit different than usual, because I normally just ramble on. So at the moment, I'm XP wasting. But before I was XP wasting, I was slaying, um, and my task was Abyssal Demons. And I, as some of you may know, I have this mask called the Mask of, Ab of the Abyss, and it does a few useful things. It teleports you to Abbey Demons. After a certain amount of kills, like 800 or so, it transforms into a cosmetic mask. But before it does that, it gives um, a significant XP boost while slaying them. Uh, you get plus 85 XP, 85 Slayer XP per Abbey Demon kill, so that's why I'm getting so much XP for Abbey Demon kills. And I'm also wearing these Mauritania Legs 4, which give uh, bonus XP while slaying in the Slayer Tower as well. But, um, another handy feature of the Mask of the Abyss is every 10 kills, it gives you a double drop. So, whatever the drop happened to be, whether it be a Crimson Charm, you can d get two Crimson Charms at once instead of just one. Or if it was like a Rune Chain Body, you'd get two Rune Chain Bodies instead of one. But, a few minutes ago, this happened. So, um actually got an Abyssal Whip, and two of them dropped. It doubled the whip drop. So, one of the craziest things I've ever, I've ever seen. Um, unfortunately, at this time, inner escape whips are not worth very much. They're only about 70k. But still, um, it was just kind of odd to see, I suppose. So I got two whip drops from one Abbey Demon. And I don't think that's probably happened to too many people, because a lot of people have these Masks of the Abyss, but you got to remember they only work for 800 kills, so unless you happen to get lucky within those 800 kills of Abbey Demons and get a double whip drop, you're not going to get one. So anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. So I wanted to talk about what I did today. I did something pretty crazy. And what that was is I decided to go for a record, a personal best, if you will, and for the most XP in a day. Um, my... Kurt, my personal record for the most XP that I had done in a day was 4.8 mil, at least according to Rune Track. Um, and I've only been on Rune Track for the past six months or so. But the past six months or so are by far the time when I was most efficient on RuneScape. So I imagine that 4.8 mil is in fact my best um, XP that I've ever gained in one day. So what I did today is actually used up all the Crimson and Blue Charms in my bank. It didn't take very long. It only took about four hours to use them all up. Um, which isn't very long considering how much XP I got. And I got 8.1 mil summoning XP. So if we look at my stats page now, which is not that, um, I now have 22.2 mil summoning XP. So I went from about 13.6 mil to about 22.2 mil. So when RuneTrack said I only got 8.1 mil summoning XP, I might have actually gotten a bit more than that. Um, but it might the high scores just might not update immediately something could be going on there. But anyway, I did, in fact, do that. So if we go to my rune track, um, you can't see most of it because it's cut off, but this is basically all that you have to see. Today, it says I gained, here, 8.1 mil summoning XP. I feel like it was a little bit more than that. But regardless, that's what I did. And actually, my rank is uh, pretty close to the top 1,000. So if we look at my summoning rank now, I have... 1.4 thousand. So that's a pretty high summoning rank and a lot of XP in that as well. Um, and I'm not exactly sure which page it was that has the personal best, but as you can see, like my individual gains um, for one day and one skill were smithing at 2.9 mil. That was the most XP that I had got in one singular skill in one day. So as soon as this updates, it's going to say summoning 8.1 mil. I know, I know not a whole lot of people have probably gotten that much XP in one skill. So, in one day, that is. So, I think that's pretty cool. And also, the week just reset, so that's why my XP distribution says completely so many. But if you guys haven't done this uh, website yourself, you really should because it is. there's so much stats on here and stuff like that. Um, it really is quite cool. Um, this is not the only page you can view that has all kinds of RuneScape stats. I also went over 500 million total XP today, so that's kind of cool. But anyway, getting back to RS. I just thought that was kind of a cool um, personal goal to set for myself and have achieved it. So now that I've done that, it's back to Slayer and back to Gathering Charms. It took me obviously a very long time to gather those charms, as uh, summoning is not the fastest skill to train. Um, luckily I had a lot of blue charms because I had done a lot of Glacier killing in the past. Um, and for those who are curious how much that cost me to do, um, basically 
I believe it was more around 8.5 mil summoning XP, not 8.1 mil. But um, that only got me about a 35 mil loss or so. So um, considering I have tons of money and not really a whole lot of things to do with it because I don't have any interest in buying next gears um, and I wasn't planning on spending money on skills other than this one until the next time I have to buy trees for farming, which won't be for quite a while. I didn't really have anything to do with the money. Um, and I don't really have too much of an interest in like you know spending a whole bunch of my time to flip. Obviously, you can make a lot of money when you have a lot of money doing flipping, but I would much rather slay myself personally. Um, so anyway, that's about all for that story for today, and what I have achieved today. So if you think that me gaining a new personal best in uh, skills is pretty cool, then that's awesome. Um, one thing I would like to say about the rune track thing is I believe you have to have your profile viewed by 10 different people before it's actually open to the public access. And I don't know if you can actually um, use rune track yourself uh, without having 200 people, or no, not 200, without having 10 unique IPs view your profile. Um, or if that just unlocks it for public access. I'm not 100% sure on it because the first time I ever went on a rune track, I had already. There was already like 40 unique IPs who had viewed my profile um, for some reason, so it was already unlocked. So I didn't have to worry about that. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it for RuneTrack. It's an awesome website. I really enjoy using it because I'm kind of a stats nerd myself, and I find them to be extremely interesting. But anyway, I'm a bit tired from you know doing long hours of summoning. Well, it wasn't that long. It was only about four hours, but it is summoning, so it's definitely much more difficult to train than a skill such as Slayer, which is really enjoyable and not difficult to train. So you can see I only have 254 mil left in my cash pile, but um, I actually only sold a few of the Pakyak pouches that I made, and the rest have sold by now, I just have not collected the money from the GE, so I should have another 30 mil or so waiting in the GE, or 20 mil, something like that. But I have more money waiting in the GE for whenever I actually go back to the GE, so it's not like I actually lost uh, 70 mil or whatever from somebody. But anyway, um, that's about all for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, do join my friends chat. That was something I really wanted to remember to point out in a video, because it has been been it has been looking a bit uh, empty as of late, which is depressing. But anyway, uh, if you want to talk to me, you can always join my friends chat, and I will answer if I am online. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and farewell.